Lake Warrior. Um, today I'm gonna talk you through uh, cable railing uh, for your deck rail. Uh, this would be in place of a traditional spindle railing. Um, I wanted to go after this for our railing around our deck so we didn't lose any view. Uh, we can look out, out from the house and onto the lake and we see right through. Um, you don't really see anything. It's kind of awesome. It's also really nice in terms of uh, you don't have to power wash. You don't have to um, really do anything to the cable once it's installed. Uh, so that's really nice. Um, and in general, it's just a, it's got a nice modern look. Uh, it's kind of great. So today I'm going to kind of talk you through what it takes to to a install the the railing, and then b the different parts and where I got the parts at, um, primarily from Amazon. Uh, Nothing's too tricky here. It's very straightforward and it's an awesome looking railing. So for the project, you're gonna need the aircraft cable, which is the big um, the big piece of the puzzle here uh, and also the majority of the expense. Uh, what I chose to go with was an eighth inch stainless steel cable. Um, now keep in mind, they have uh, 304 stainless steel and 316, 316 um, stainless, uh, 316 is a better grade stainless. So I would recommend that it's not a huge cost difference. It won't, um, you know, it won't corrode. It won't deteriorate. Uh, you know, the 304 probably wouldn't either, but I just chose to go with the 316. So I did the eighth inch. I believe they have 316, uh, size, 316 size cable. So if you want something a little bit bigger, you can, but it does go up in cost exponentially. So that's the first piece of the puzzle. The next piece is how you're gonna tension the cable. And all that is is with this little device here, okay? You drill the hole in, in your post. This piece is inserted through, crimped, the aircraft cable crimps onto here, okay? And then all you do is simply tighten down the nuts to draw the cable tight. So this is the, the drill through one. Um, now, they also have a lag version if you can't get if, you, if you're not able to bolt through. So here's the lag version, the exact same thing. It's just a lag version, it screws in. Um, nothing too tricky here. Um, yeah, so that's so that's that. Your next piece to the puzzle is the, the, the hardware that they have um, designed to go through the wood. So after you bore the hole in the post, these guys will go, will insert in. This is for a stair. This is turning a 45 degree angle. So when you're coming down the staircase, um, you know, the holes are com coming down at the angle of the stair. This you then insert in on either side of the post. Okay. So either side is inserted in the cable goes through the post and all you see is the hardware, which is really, really nice looking. Now they also make, um, the straight version. So these are for pass through posts that are, that are the more typical, you know, if you're just going right through a post, you would just use this. All right. So these guys are also the 316 stainless steel. Okay, um, so you need these guys. And then that's, that's pretty much all for parts, okay? So we're not talking about a lot of stuff here. Those, those are your pieces. Um, the next thing that I did was I went ahead and made a jig. Um, and this jig is nothing more than, I, I made it out of a piece of two by four. Um, you can kind of see it here, a piece of two by four. And then I had a scrap piece of oak. So that way it would um, maintain the hole. So I, my holes don't get really bored out. But um, what I did was I, I went on here, I did my spacing for my rail um, and I cut a notch out right here that is designed to slip right in like this. And you can see the notch is where the two by four is of the rail right there. And then all I have to do is go through and drill, 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 right through there. It's all pre-spaced. That's kind of the deal. So I would recommend doing a jig like this. It takes a little bit of time to set it up, but once you have it, then you know where all your holes are going. It's not very hard to uh, place the holes. Um, the next piece to the puzzle is over here, the two main tools that you'll need. Um, since I'm doing a staircase, um, I've got a couple of staircases. I went ahead and got this portable um, drill press, okay? So this thing is able to go onto the diagonal like this, pu pushed up tight against the, uh, the post, and I'm able to bore through at the right angle. That's pretty important. Uh, you know, otherwise, when you come through the post, you're going to have different spots where it starts and ends. So I, I wanted to make sure that I had this. Um, if you're not doing a staircase, you wouldn't need this component. But um, if you are, I would recommend it. Um, 
And then the, the biggest tool that you're going to need that's outside the normal tool owner's toolbox is this um, crimper. Uh, I got this from Amazon. Uh, nothing special. All it does is, uh, which I'll show you guys how to use it. You can tighten it down right there. You tighten the, um, the pressure. You turn it on. Um, you simply go up and down like this. And it closes down. You can kind of see it. I'm not making you too dizzy here. It closes down on the crimp, crimps it, and that's it. And then you release it right here, and it comes back down. So that's pretty much all that's to that. I believe that was fifty or sixty dollars on Amazon. So not terrible for what the what the what the result is. So these are basically your components. Um, nothing more than that. And uh, now I'm going to show you how to how to put this all together actual steps that we're going to focus on today um, as you can see it's all ready for the cable i've pre-stained it um, that way we don't have to worry about the holes uh, in trying to get around all of the cables uh, so we pre-stain this there's nothing much to this as i kind of approach this project what i'm thinking about here is um where i'm going to start the cable from okay so i can start the cable from from here or down there now on a staircase like this I typically want to have the cable coming from up top. So I'm going, to, I'm going to use one of the lag screws and lag into here, come through here, drill the holes, go down, drill the holes on the steps. And then um, this would be the point where we tension right here. So that's pretty much the, um, the idea and what I'm going to track you guys through today uh, as I uh, go through this process. Okay guys, I just finished boring all the holes. Um, as you can see, I went totally through, um, cleaned off the, the burrs a little bit. Got a hole coming straight through. Um, the next thing I need to do is take these inserts uh, that we talked about earlier, and they will insert in to here, right on in there like that. You pound them in to set them, and that's it. So that now I'm gonna go through and put all the inserts in next. cable I'm just gonna simply push that in come over here with my crimper crank it down make sure this is put seated in on that first crank and then you just pump it just like that And then release slightly. And then I come down and do my second one. Pump it again. I think you could probably get by with just doing one, but I do two. Make sure that's snug. Repump it. Loosen it. And there you have it, two crimps. That's all, it, that's all there is to terminating it. Well guys, I just finished up the cable railing. Um, I couldn't be happier. I mean, at the end of the day, I think it's a really economical choice. Uh, it looks great. Uh, I do believe it's probably as cheap or maybe cheaper than um, traditional spindles. Uh, and I think the best thing about it is you can see right through it. I mean, it, lo it looks great, it really does. So I'm gonna include all of the links below uh, for this. Uh, I got everything from Amazon. So that will be on the uh, show description. 
Make sure you uh, smash that like button and subscribe for more DIY lakeside projects with Lake Warrior. Have a great day, guys.